Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to our 166th annual spring commencement. Last year, St. Mary's University revived a time-honored tradition experienced in the past by generations of graduates. Our more than 400 students graduated today have just completed a procession that begins in the university's first building, St. Louis Hall, which opened in 1894 and ended just outside the arena doors, taking them on a final tour of campus before crossing the stage this afternoon. Please stand as we welcome the 2018 spring graduates of St. Mary's University.
Good afternoon. I am Aaron Tyler, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at St. Mary's University. And on behalf of our entire St. Mary's University community, it is my distinct honor to welcome each of you to this most significant of ceremonies. Graduates, you may all leave on your mortar boards. And as a matter of courtesy, I ask that everyone in the arena please mute or turn off your cell phones for the duration of the ceremony. Thank you. We begin today's program by honoring our country with the posting of the colors by the St. Mary's ROTC Color Guard. Please welcome to the podium St. Mary's students who are graduating today, Mary, Marta, and Maggie Moipe, who will lead us in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. What a stirring rendition of our national anthem. We will certainly miss the amazing voices of the Moipe sisters. At St. Mary's, I'm proud to say we have an ex oh, and please be seated. <laughs> At St. Mary's, I'm proud to say we have an active veteran student organization. And this past fall, we opened and dedicated a space in the university center for those students. Allow me to take a moment to invite them and all veterans and active duty military in the arena, please stand so that we can acknowledge you and thank you for your service. Please welcome to the podium the Reverend Tim Eden, Society of Mary, Rector and Vice President for Mission. 
who will offer today's invocation. Two thousand and eighteen. Just a century ago, our world begged, prayed for the gift of peace during the last months of World War I. It was a prayer that has never quite been answered in our century. So before we pray for the men and women of this class, let's take just a moment of silence to remember our world and to ask God for the gift of peace for our world. And now let us pray. O oh Lord, we pray for the men and women of this graduating class. They have come to us from many places, from towns and cities and states and countries, well beyond our borders, close and near. They have come to us from different cultures and religious traditions. We pray that their time at St. Mary's has given them both an appreciation of the rich differences of our world and of the unity of the human family, all of us as sons and daughters of you. In your sight, O oh Lord, we are one. Today we pray especially with gratitude for all that these men and women have accomplished here and for those who supported them, for family, and for friends, and for mentors, all who are companions along the way. And finally, Lord, we pray for their future, for who they will become, men and women of great mind and great heart, people of integrity, people of courage, people of character, Professionally successful, yes, but above all, successful in the great art of living well. For who they have been, we give thanks. For who they will become and what they will achieve, we pray in hope and in trust of your love for them. And we make this prayer as your sons and daughters. Amen. Members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, administration, parents, families, friends, and special guests, this afternoon we congratulate and we honor our spring graduates of 2018 whose achievements are a source of pride for each one of us here. Welcome everyone and thank you, for, thank you for joining us for this extraordinary day. I'm pleased to present the members of the stage party, special guests in attendance, and I invite them to stand when they are introduced. Thomas Mangler, president of St. Mary's University. Letty Contreras and Charles Barrett, Vice Chairpersons of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Members of the Board of Trustees, the Reverend Dennis Arachiga. <laughs> Brother Ray Barrios, Society of Mary. <laughs> Brother Joe Comas, Society of Mary. Mr. Jason Longoria and Mr. Kenneth Sachs. And we welcome incoming chair of the Board of Trustees, Mickey Schott. 
I invite the mace bearer, members of the university leadership, and the president of the faculty senate to stand to be recognized. Finally, seated to my left, our commencement speaker, a friend, a mentor, and a hero of mine, the Reverend Marty Salma, Society of Mary, the Chancellor of St. Mary's University, who will also receive an honorary degree, and from whom we will hear from in a few moments. It's now my pleasure to invite President Thomas Mingler forward to share a few remarks with you. Good afternoon and welcome to you all. Welcome especially our graduates of the class of 2018 and your friends and families uh, who have come from near and far to be with you this afternoon. Graduates, with your family and friends, you celebrate the end of your time as students at St. Mary's University. This journey, which probably seemed forever at times, has gone by uh, pretty quickly. Now seems to have uh, gone by quickly and it's uh, just one step but a major step, a critical moment in your life when you discern God's many gifts to you and your passion. And you discern the importance of linking gifts, talents, and passion to a professional career which uh, becomes a vocation, not simply a job, not simply a way to make a living. All of us, the faculty and staff, your friends and family who are here and those who weren't able to be here are very proud of you. We hope that your time here will prove to be, to be some of the best years of your lives, a defining moment, a time when you truly discovered yourself, who you are and the enduring principles for which you stand, a time when you gained a better understanding of how you will make a difference in your community. You're about to leave the Grehe Arena and St. Mary's University and join an exclusive club of more than 35,000 men and women alumni who live in Texas, around the country, indeed around the world, in Latin America, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Men and women like yourselves for whom St. Mary's was a critical moment in their life. Alumni who live our Catholic and Marianist mission through their professional leadership and really in all walks of life and through their dedication to service at home, with their families, at work, and in their communities. Alumni also who are eager to assist you, to mentor you, to help you build a, a network of professional context, contacts and even to hire you. And alumni who continue to contribute to St. Mary's and our mission in a number of ways, including through their generous charitable giving. A substantial part of the more than $110 million dollars since beginning the public phase of our comprehensive campaign this past November. Today's your day to celebrate, graduates, but today, as you know, is also a day of gratitude. And men and women of St. Mary's, there are many folks in this arena for whom I know you are grateful. I begin with our talented and dedicated faculty who taught, mentored, and supported you inside and outside the classroom. The Marianists, to my right, who established St. Mary's in 1852 and who still plays significant roles in its successes. Of course, your fellow students who helped you through many hard times as you think about your four years here and enjoyed with you many more good times in the residence halls, on the playing fields, in the learning commons, and in the pub. Your own families who provided love and emotional support through your lives and during your time at St. Mary's. And especially this weekend, your mothers and grandmothers. So let's hear it for your moms. And so today, graduates and your families, I join the hundreds in this arena to congratulate you and send you along on the next part of your, bless, uh, of your journeys, and God bless you. This afternoon, I'm honored to introduce our commencement speaker, Father Martin Soma, Society of Mary. I'm equally privileged to confer on Father Soma 
an honorary doctorate in philosophy from St. Mary's University. And I would ask Father Marty to join me to my left and uh, Provost Aaron Tyler to his left. Great universities like St. Mary's award honorary doctoral degrees to individuals who have distinguished themselves typically in one of two ways. Because of the excellence of their professional careers, or because of their significant engagement with or contribution to their communities in serving the common good. In Father Marty Soma, we have an exemplary individual who has distinguished himself in both ways and more and he is unquestionably deserving of this recognition. I begin with an observation. Father Marty is among the finest leaders you will ever meet. An individual who exemplifies integrity, compassion, and courage in all he does. Since taking first vows as a Marianist in 1967, Father Marty Soma has held a number of leadership roles for the Marianists of the United States province. In, 18, 19, <laughs> in 1982, for example, <laughs> Father Marty began more than 25 years of ministry in Eastern Africa as director of the Marianist Novitiate in Nairobi, Kenya, as regional superior and later as district superior for the Marianists in Eastern Africa. And for more than 13 years, Father Marty served as head of Our Lady of Nazareth Primary School. At Our Lady of Nazareth, which lies in the slums of Nairobi, more than 1,900 children born into acute poverty are welcome, welcomed each year to a school that provides an excellent education, skills training, grounded in the light of faith in Christ and our Marianist charism. In 2010, Father Marty was appointed provincial or head of the entire Marianist province for the United States. In this role, Father Marty has helped develop and implement the Marianist five-year strategic plan, Vision 2020. With his team, the Provincial Council, for example, Father Marty established the Office of Sponsorship to oversee and coordinate the Marianist network of three universities, one of which is St. Mary's University. 19 high schools and middle schools, and four retreat centers. Because of Father Marty's visionary leadership, the U.S. Marianists, Marianists are well positioned to carry forward their principal mission of education. Father Marty has also provided extraordinary support for St. Mary's during his eight-year term as Provincial of the Marianists and Chancellor of St. Mary's Board of Trustees. Just a few examples. Because of his leadership, St. Mary's is the permanent location of the National Archives of the Marianist Province of the United States. In essence, the entire documentary history of the Marianists in the United States is right here on St. Mary's campus. Father Marty's leadership has fostered and made possible an important partnership with St. Mary's, the Archdiocese, and the Marianists to revitalize our next door neighbor, Holy Rosary Catholic Parish. Father Marty, in a number of ways, has consistently supported St. Mary's development of a center for Catholic studies, most recently through the Marianist pledge to provide $1.5 million in funds to endow the Marianist chair in Catholic education leadership. This chair will ensure that the primary work of the Marianists since the founding of the Marianists by Blessed William uh, Joseph Chaminade will continue in San Antonio and the Southwest to educate and foster the, the faith formation of boys and girls. What I have described gives you some sense of Father Marty's achievements and outstanding career, but a laundry list of impressive achievements falls short of presenting to you the character of this excellent man. My introduction of Father Marty would be in incomplete if I did not tell you that when you meet and speak to Father Marty, those of you who have had the privilege, you have his full attention. He listens. All his being is focused on you. A person of authentic humility, 
Father Marty is effusive in his praise of others, but demurs when you praise him. Father Marty's target is always the mission. Compassionate in his actions, Father Marty, like all strong leaders, he's fearless. I've seen him never afraid to make difficult decisions in the best interest of the Marianists and St. Mary's University. A man of faith in Christ our Savior, Father Marty lives his life through the example of Mother Mary. And through the quiet example of his own life, Father Marty has led so many others to hear God's call. Like dozens of men and women who are part of the St. Mary's community, I am blessed and honored to know Father Martin Soma. And for these reasons, I am honored as well to present Father Marty Soma with an honorary doctorate in philosophy from St. Mary's University. putting him to work. I now invite Father Marty to deliver our commencement address. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a, um, a real honor for me to be here this afternoon. I have a deep, deep affection for St. Mary's University, for its leadership, its uh, academic quality, its staff, and so many of the students that I have had the privilege to interact with over the years. I am very grateful for the honor of the degree. But I can honestly say that the greatest achievement that I could be recognized for is simply to be a good Marianist. And if I qualify at any degree for that, I really owe that to the brothers with whom I live and who have helped me to grow in my vocation in the Society of Mary. There was an interesting article recently in the Tablet Magazine. Tablet Magazine is a, a British publication, Catholic publication, much like our American magazine. And this particular article summarized cross-cultural studies on initiation rites for young boys becoming adults. Through a variety of activities and a variety of rites, the boy has to learn what the author calls the five great truths in order to become an adult. Number one, life is hard. Number two, you're going to die. Number three, you are not in control. Number four, you are not important. And number five, life is not about you. He goes on to say that if the boy does not learn and internalize these five great truths, he writes, as a man, he will be prone to perceive himself as life's perpetual victim. He will, will rebel against the small deaths that happen in life, of dreams, of plans, of unfulfilled hopes, and failed undertakings, which mark evolving maturity. He will live under the illusion that he is a demigod, 
He will strut around in arrogance and hubris as though the world owed him something. Now, although the study concentrated on young boys, I suspect that it's also true for young women, although the process may be somewhat different. Now, these five great truths, and even your reaction, indicates that they are startling. They're startling, and perhaps even frightening. Life is hard. Now, most of you already know that. Anyone who has completed four years of a university education with its study, its exams, its deadlines, its papers, its presentations, and its grades know that. Although we often think, and our culture supports this, that we can become anesthetized, that somehow life should be easy, relationships should bring us great happiness, and that personal success should come as a matter of course. After all, the world owes it to us. You will not live forever. Now most of us know that theoretically, and some of you sitting here today know that very personally in the deaths and the loss of parents and grandparents and siblings. But at 22 or 25 or 27 or 35, you have your life in front of you. And it's so easy to be lulled into thinking that we are invincible. As Fantine sings in Les Miserables, I dreamed a dream when I was young, and dreams were made and used and wasted. And she ends that song sadly by singing, I dreamed a dream that life would be so different from the hell I'm living. We don't live forever. You are not in control, you are not important, and life is not about you. Hardly the sort of message you want to hear on your commencement day <laughs> when we celebrate your accomplishments and when you are rightly the center of attention. But there's something valuable here. And perhaps as you look back on your four years, or three years, or five years, or six years here at St. Mary's, you can appreciate that this period of your life has been a time of learning, something like an initiation rite, to prepare you for what some will euphemistically call the real world. I'd love to know where the real world is, by the way. But if you've learned some of those lessons, very good. But I hope you've learned something else because of the unique education here at St. Mary's that is grounded in our Catholic and Marianist identity. These other great truths are perhaps even more important. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. We call it the, uh, the North Shore. I went to a high school there run by the Society of Mary in the 1960s. And I was impressed, even at that young age, by the humanism, the humanism of the education that the brothers had and our lay teachers. I remember one brother in particular who became very important to me in my own vocational discernment, describing education as lighting a lamp, not filling a vessel. That talks about ongoing development and ongoing learning, lifelong. I was impressed by the family spirit that is so evident here on the campus of St. Mary's University. We had a school of 2,000 boys. I was challenged academically, 
I was supported in my faith journey. I was stretched in my leadership ability. And I was taught that other people are important. And there was an obligation to help, especially those least advantaged. Although I could not have articulated the five characteristics of Marianist education, I felt them. I absorbed them, and they shaped me, as I hope they have shaped you. This same Marianist brother taught both English and religious education. And he had us reading Thomas Merton. Thomas Merton in the 1960s was unknown. Uh, a contemplative Trappist monk who was on the cutting edge of issues around peace and justice. We read Pope John XXIII, Pachamenteris, Global Peace, Global Peace, Dorothy Day, the founder of the Catholic Workers' uh, Home, Victor Frankl, the Jewish psychotherapist who wrote a book about his experience in Dachau, Flannery O'Connor, the great Catholic writer, and Graham Greene. He took us to homeless shelters to help the indigent. We had retreats where we talked about what was important in life and where we were headed. He challenged us to think about life as a vocation, not as a work, not as a, a, a job, but as a God-given call, the meaning, the deepest meaning of my life. And what is really the key to freedom and to peace and to fulfillment? He taught us, in short, the meaning of love for God, for others, and for ourselves. It was deeply formative for me. Yes, there are five great truths in these initiation rites. Yes, life can be hard and disappointing, and my plans can often be frustrated. Yes, we are not built to live on this earth forever. Yes, I am not in control of everything, and sometimes I'm not in control of very much. I am not the center of the universe, and life is not about me. Yes, but there's something more, something that's even more important that a person must learn on the path to maturity. And these are the themes that I hope are the ones that you take away from this university. Life has a purpose. Life has a purpose. It has a meaning. We are not just thrown here by blind chance. That is a faith stance, but that will change the way you live and the kind of person you will become. The gift of oneself to others brings deep and lasting joy. It's not about grabbing, it's about giving. And the more we learn to do that, especially to those less advantaged than ourselves, the greater joy there will be. Happiness is possible even when we suffer. Even suffering has meaning. And embracing one's calling in life, one's vocation in freedom, liberates energies and unearths talents unimagined. Perhaps these are what capture the true meaning of being and becoming an adult even more than those so-called five great truths. And for those of us who embrace with maturity and with insight and with intelligence a Christian faith or our own faith tradition, we find in Jesus both what it means to be authentically human and what the inner life of God is like. It's love. It's self-giving. And it's even self-sacrificing. Our Lord's resurrection that we have been celebrating means that nothing is ever lost. Nothing is ever lost. Sometimes people, young people, they worry that they're going to make mistakes in the choices they make in life. Don't worry about it. Make good decisions. And mistakes can be undone when we follow 
a God-given call. We try to make decisions that are right for others and that express our own talents. It also tells us that death does not have the final word and that we are going somewhere. That every single life has value. Every single life has value. Yours and the person next to you and the people up in the, in the, uh, the bleachers, everyone, whether we look alike or not, and whether we follow the same creeds or not, every single life has value. And it tells us that the deepest longings of our heart for love and freedom and joy are not finally frustrated. For me, this is the very heart of what we try to do in Marianist education. And for me, that's a very hopeful message on the day of your commencement. I have learned, I spent, as President Mengler said, I spent many years in Africa. And what I've learned there and in my service as provincial is that a good education is the key to freedom and excellence. That we have a God-given desire for truth and freedom and to give ourselves to something important. I hope you can find that, and I hope you can give yourself with full enthusiasm to a life call that will give you peace and joy and happiness for you and for those whom you serve. There is one final great truth, I think, and that is to learn gratitude. Gratitude. Thank your parents today. Thank your parents today. You know, this day is as much about your parents as it is about you. Thank your parents. Some of your parents have made extraordinary sacrifices for you to be here today and to graduate with such a fine education from St. Mary's University. Thank them. Tell them you love them. Thank this school. And as President Mengler said, in the future be generous so that other generations of young people can enjoy the same education as you. Thank your fellow students and your teachers. And finally, thank God for the gift of your unique and eterni eternally valuable life and for faith in the risen Lord, the way, the truth, and the life. May God bless you immensely and thank you very much for this wonderful honor today. inspiring words. You symbolize the, the Marianist characteristics of education. You, in fact, are a good Marianist, a wonderful Marianist, and we are privileged to have your leadership. And I think those words resonate with me in words that maybe we need to hear often in our lives, not just as at commencement, but as we grow and develop as human beings. Primary goal for education here at St. Mary's University is that you're prepared to go out and realize a good career, a successful career, but just as important, perhaps more important, indeed more important, is to realize a good life. A life lived on purpose. A life lived and rooted in servant leadership. A life lived in a contentment in knowing that God's love for you is unconditional. Contentment in knowing that your dignity is rooted in who you are and contentment in knowing that you are created for a purpose designed to make a difference in this world. A good life is lived in giving of ourselves. Thank you for those words and for sharing your experience and wisdom with us today. This spring, St. Mary's University, the family here, and that includes everyone here in the arena today, celebrates the achievements of 406 graduates who have completed their degree requirements this semester. Among the graduating class, one receives the Doctor of Philosophy, 58 have earned master's degrees, 
and 341 will receive bachelor's degrees. Among the undergraduates, two students are graduating with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. And 111, that's 33% of undergraduates are graduating with academic honors. 64 are graduating cum laude, 24 are graduating magnum cum laude, and 25 are graduating summa cum laude. Today, the first stu student to earn a BA in International and Global Studies is graduating. And among our graduate students, 17 have been named distinguished graduates. In addition, today's graduates include 10 new United States Army officers commissioned through the St. Mary's ROTC program yesterday. <laughs> graduates, families, friends, the moment you are waiting for, perhaps for four years or more, is upon us. As Dr. Christopher Frost, Dean of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, comes to the podium, I'd like to point out that after the graduates to receive their diplomas and exit the stage, the leadership of the Alumni Association will greet them and welcome them into the fold of St. Mary's more than 35,000 alumni around the world. Brother Dennis Bautista, Society of Mary, Associate Professor of English and Communication Studies, will present you the names of the graduates who are present for this afternoon's ceremony. The first degree being conferred are upon the Master of Arts, Master of Public Administration, and Master of Science degree candidates in the School of Humanities and Social Sciences who are wearing their respective hoods. Following them will be the Bachelor of Arts degree candidates. Dr. Frost. Okay, we are at your moment. Will the candidates for the Master of Arts degree, Master of Public Administration degree, Master of Science degree, and Bachelor of Arts degree in the School of Humanities and Social Sciences please rise. President Mingler, I present to you the 2018 spring graduates. Martin Aguirre, Communication Studies. Amna Al Ruwaili, English Literature and Language. Salam Abdullah Al Thani, English Literature and Language. Genevieve Avant, Communication Studies. Dolores Batten, English Literature and Language. <laughs> Distinguished Graduate, Camille Close Pujo, International Relations. <laughs> Distinguished Graduate, Jonathan Clifford, Educational Leadership. <laughs> Maria Immaculada Cuervo E. Bennett, Educational Leadership. Lauren Deering, International Relations. Adrian Espinosa, International Relations. Distinguished Graduate, Amber Fragoso, Educational Leadership. Robin Johnson, English Literature and Language. Distinguished Graduate, Ryan Conkright, Communication Studies. Dalia Muhammad, International Relations. Distinguished Graduate, Eleni Moncrief, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. 
Angel Alfonso Santiago, International Relations. Distinguished Graduate, Laura Cepeda, International Relations. Paloma Villarreal, International Relations. Master of Public Administration, Rim Hassan Almalki. Distinguished Graduate, Luis Antu. Jacob Gutierrez. Ruben Noriega. Erica Schnell. Master of Science, Brittany Brinkley, Industrial Organizational Psychology. Distinguished Graduate, Alexandra Lopez, Industrial Organizational Psychology. Crystal Martinez, Industrial Organizational Psychology. Megan McGee, Industrial Organizational Psychology. Yasmin Mubarak, Industrial Organizational Psychology. Distinguished Graduate, Raquel Ricio, Industrial Organizational Psychology. Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Steele Adcock, Communication Studies. Summa Cum Laude, graduating with a 4.0 GPA. Cameron Adelman, the first graduate in International and Global Studies. Michael Alfaro, Psychology. Cum Laude. Alyssa Almagir, History. Clarissa Danielle Alvarado, Exercise and Sports Science. Benjamin Arnett, Exercise and Sports Science. Cum Laude, Leanne Atarji, Psychology. Amanda Avelar, Criminology. Christy Balderas, Exercise and Sports Science. Carolina Ball, Criminology. McNair Scholar, Magdalena Banda, Psychology. Stephanie Baron, Criminology. Alexander Barrientos, Exercise and Sports Science. Roberto Benavides, Jr., Exercise and Sports Science. Pedro Blanco, Political Science. Marcia Lenore Bowden, History. Ana Bonilla, Exercise and Sports Science. Daniela Borrego, Criminology. Jacqueline Milagros Bracero, International Relations. Jeffrey Brooks, Exercise and Sports Science. Summa Cum Laude, Amanda Bustos, English. Second Lieutenant, Ruben Canales, Political Science. Ana Cano, Spanish. Katia Cardiel, Economics. Magna Cum Laude, Maria Carrillo, Criminology. 
Vanessa Diane Carrillo, Psychology. Second Lieutenant, Micah Wayne Paul Carter, Criminology. Rolando Cisneros, Economics. Amanda Conlin, Communication Studies. Summa Cum Laude, Juana Contreras, Sociology. John Paul J.P. Coronado, Speech Communication. Caitlin Cranston, Forensic Science. Dulce Kear, Sociology. Cum Laude, Angelina Dinello, Exercise and Sports Science. Sierra Dixon, Exercise and Sports Science. Alicia Echevarria, Criminology. Presidential Award Recipient, Summa Cum Laude, Barbara Estefani Falcon Mendoza, Political Science. Cum Laude, Melanie Farris, Exercise and Sports Science. Alina Fernandez, English. Nikki Flores, Music. Veronica Alexis Flores, Criminology. Robert Garay II, Exercise and Sports Science. Emily Garcia, Political Science. Presidential Award Recipient, Cum Laude. Valeria Denise Garcia Lara, Speech Communication, Spanish. Daniel Garza, History. Juan Garza, Economics, Political Science. Cum Laude, Maria Garza Martinez, History. Honors Program Scholar, Samantha Garza, History, International Relations. Valeria Eileen Garza, Criminal Justice. Rebecca Lynn Gerstner, Psychology. Second Lieutenant, Alyssa Diane Gomez, Criminology. Christian Antonio Gomez, Communication Studies. Second Lieutenant, Jalen Michelle Gomez, Exercise and Sports Science. Thomas Joseph Gonzalez, Criminal Justice. Alexandra Gonzalez, Theology. McNair Scholar, Cum Laude, Trey Gonzalez, Psychology. Summa Cum Laude, Daniela Gonzalez, Communication Studies. Cum Laude, Caitlin Gonzalez, Criminal Justice. Dory Gonzalez, Political Science. Cum Laude, Troy Andrew Groman, Political Science. Alexandria Adele Guerrero, Exercise and Sports Science. Daniel Guerrero, Criminal Justice. 
Cynthia Guevara, Psychology. Second Lieutenant, Christopher Aby, Political Science. Summa Cum Laude, Christina Haynes, Exercise and Sport Science. Amber Hernandez, Psychology. McNair Scholar, Magna Cum Laude, Krista Herrera, Psychology. Janet Herrera, Exercise and Sport Science. Hayden Hollinger, International Relations. Brenda Iparagire, Exercise and Sports Science. Cum Laude, Allison Mary Jo Jarzombek, Criminology. McNair Scholar, Cum Laude, Daisy Jordan, Criminal Justice. Honors Program Scholar, Cum Laude, Second Lieutenant, Courtney Lynn Keefe, Criminal Justice. Amy Knight, Theology. Norbert Jeremy Landon, Exercise and Sports Science. Alexandra Lehman, Criminal Justice. Yuvia Mercedes Loesa, Exercise and Sports Science. McNair Scholar, Brenda Ebet Lopez, Criminology. Second Lieutenant, Christian Lopez, Exercise and Sports Science. Second Lieutenant, Allison Liu, Criminology. Valerie Lugo, Exercise and Sports Science. Natalie Magluyuan, Exercise and Sports Science. Summa Cum Laude, Ana Maria Maomar, Psychology. Rebecca Maldonado, Psychology. Adriana Marquez, Criminology. Cum Laude, Samantha Martinez, Political Science. Tia Mason, Communication Studies. Caitlin McCarroll, Criminal Justice. Cum Laude, Second Lieutenant, Rachel McNaughton, English. Jude Jimenez Medina, History. McNair Scholar, Summa Cum Laude, Raul Mejia, Sociology. Emilio Mendez, Exercise and Sports Science. Paul Mendez, Psychology. Cum Laude, Michelle Michimani Leva, English Communication Arts. Spanish. Cum Laude, Andrew Miller, Exercise and Sport Science. Magna Cum Laude, Brianna Minjares, Sociology. Summa Cum Laude, Magdalene Moipe, Music. Summa Cum Laude, Marta Moipe, Music. Summa Cum Laude, Mary Moipe, Music. Gabriela Monreal, Philosophy. Cum Laude, Isabella Morales, Psychology. Stephanie.
Stephanie Muniz, Political Science. Christopher Oliva, Exercise and Sports Science. Escorted by his mother, Professor Suzanne Oliva. Violeta Ortega, Political Science. Alessandra Ortiz, Exercise and Sports Science. Rodrigo Ortiz, Political Science. Gonzalo Ovalle III, Sociology. Elisa Rene Palacios, Forensic Science. Brian Parra, Exercise and Sports Science. Cum Laude, Alexandra Pearson, Psychology. Cum Laude, Shanae Lynn Pelletier, Psychology. Cum Laude, Justin Pena, Political Science. Gabriel Perez Esquivel, Exercise and Sports Science. Cum Laude, Marisol Ramirez, Theology. Magna Cum Laude, Donica Ramsey, Criminal Justice. Magna Cum Laude, Malena Louise Remling, Communication Studies. Cum Laude, Christopher Repka, History. Asia Rogers, Exercise and Sports Science. Noah Rosenbaum, Exercise and Sports Science. Rodrigo Ruiz, Sociology. Raven Salas, Criminal Justice. McNair Scholar. Ernest Salinas, Jr., Economics. Cum Laude, Crystal Salinas, Exercise and Sports Science. Roy Salinas, Criminology. Cum Laude, Stacy Brianne Sanchez, Theology. McNair Scholar, Cum Laude, Cody Sanders, English. Justin Sauceda, Criminal Justice. Magna Cum Laude, Giselle Schoenmachers, Exercise and Sports Science. McNair Scholar, Paloma Silva, Psychology. Dominique Tijerina, Forensic Science. Cum Laude, Tyra Tim, Psychology. Summa Cum Laude, Irving Toches, Economics. Enrique Torres Hernandez, Economics, Political Science. Cum Laude, Destiny Trevino, Criminal Justice. Magna Cum Laude, Kayla Trevino, Philosophy. Savannah Valenzuela, Philosophy. Cum Laude, Mark Vargas Jr., Political Science. Marcela Vasquez, Exercise and Sports Science. Cum Laude, Brianna Bella, Criminal Justice. Victoria Bella, English. Magna Cum Laude, Victoria.
Victoria Ellie Bella, Theology. Eliana Lisette Mendoza Velasquez, Forensic Science. Eric Bialpando, History, Theology. Octavian Wagner, Exercise and Sport Science. Travis White, Criminology. Freddie Williams, Criminal Justice. Luke Willis, History. Jeanette Lee Wimberly, Exercise and Sport Science. Liana Ibarra, Exercise and Sport Science. Suma Umlaude, Robert Mark Zeitzman, Theology, Philosophy. Cum Laude, Alexis Isabel Sepeda, English. Cum Laude, Lorena Zuluaga Galvan, Spanish. Matthew Zuniga, Political Science. For the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration in the Grihi School of Business, please rise. <laughs> President Mengler, I present to you the Spring 2018 graduates. Samuel Allard, Management. Andrew Alvarez, Finance and Risk Management. Gerardo Alvarez, Jr., Finance and Risk Management. Gabriela Annalise Arteaga, Marketing. Bill Grehe Scholar, Presidential Award Recipient, Summa Cum Laude, Guillermo Jose Abelar Guerrero, Marketing, Jose Rene Aviles, International Business, Bo Barnes, Marketing, Anna Karen Beltran, Accounting, Cum Laude, Priya Bhakta, Accounting. Alejandra Bocardo, Management. Marcia Lenore Bowden, International Business. Cum Laude, Nate Bonsignor, Finance and Risk Management. Cecilia Bretado, Accounting and Data Analytics. Presidential Award Recipient, Mayling Camacho Acevedo, Marketing. Ana Cano, International Business. Bill Grihi Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Cassandra Cantu, Accounting. Cum Laude, Giovanni Castillo, Management. Cum Laude, Matthew Stewart Casino, Accounting and Data Analytics. Vincent Chan Consin, 
Accounting and Data Analytics. Cum Laude, Kelly Contreras, Finance and Risk Management. Honors Program Scholar, Nicholas Dauphine, Marketing. Alexia De La Garza, International Business. Cesar De La Garza, Finance and Risk Management. Itati De La Garza, International Business. John Diaz, Finance and Risk Management. Cum Laude, Taylor Durham, Marketing. Brian Estrada, Marketing. Nicholas Garcia, Finance and Risk Management. Ricardo Garcia, Marketing, Financial Services Risk Management. Bill Grihi Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Alex Gavin, Accounting. Honors Program Scholar, Presidential Award Recipient, Summa Cum Laude. Megan Jurassi, Finance and Risk Management, Marketing. Cum Laude, Philip Gonzalez, Entrepreneurial Studies. Honors Program Scholar, Karina Gonzalez, Finance and Risk Management. Karen Gonzalez, Accounting and Data Analytics. Toreen Grace, Management. Benicio Guerrero, International Business. Rachel Jurinsky, Marketing. Jacob Ernest Gutierrez, Finance and Risk Management. Priscilla Gutierrez, Accounting and Data Analytics. Joshua Hanner, Finance and Risk Management. Oswaldo Guillermo Egigori, Finance and Risk Management. Cynthia Hernandez, Management. Daniel Hernandez Jr., Management. Michael Hernandez, Finance and Risk Management. Madison King, Marketing. Summa Cum Laude. Jamie Kaylin Elizabeth Cruzman. Marketing. Nicholas Anthony Migliori. Accounting and Data Analytics. Christina Muller. Management. Bill Grihi Scholar. Cum Laude. Aime Navarrete Reyes. Finance and Risk Management. Magna Cum Laude, Ivis Palacios, International Business. Lorena Palacios, International Business. Madeline Parker, Accounting. Melanie Ramirez, Marketing. Enrique Ramos, International Business. Cum Laude, Samantha Ramos, Management. Honors Program Scholar, Bill Grihi Scholar. Summa Cum Laude, Jose Reyes, Finance and Risk Management. Estefany Robledo, Finance and Risk Management. Arturo Sanchez Jr., Marketing. 
Sadie Solis, Marketing. Allison Surgener, Management. Suma Cum Laude, Irving Toches, International Business. Victoria Bella, Finance and Risk Management. Isabel Vera, Marketing. Kyle Wakely, Accounting. Presidential Award Recipient, Cum Laude, Andres Ricardo Valle, Finance and Risk Management. Jacob Bella, Marketing. Cordell Watson, Finance and Risk Management. Bill Grehe Scholar, Presidential Award Recipient, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Young, Marketing. Emiliano Isaguire, Entrepreneurial Studies. I now invite to the podium Dr. Winston Aravellas, Dean of the School of, School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Will the candidates for the degrees of Master of Science Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts in the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology, please rise. <laughs> President Mengler, I present to you the 2018 Spring Graduates. Master of Science. Abdul Rahman Abu Al Shamat, Industrial Engineering. IBK Akiji, Industrial Engineering. Distinguished Graduate, Saleh Al Zarani, Computer Information Systems. Brian Buckmeyer, Engineering Systems Management. Rokas Kundrotas, Engineering Systems Management. Kaja Nasiruddin Muhammad, Industrial Engineering. Manan Muhammad, Industrial Engineering. Ryan Kasim, Industrial Engineering. Shalin Savalia, Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Kiernan Akers, yeah! Engineering Science. <laughs> Ahmed Al Okran, Industrial Engineering. Fayez Al Fayez, Industrial Engineering. Hassan Al Motairi, Electrical Engineering. Bijan Aminian, Mechanical Engineering. Suma Cum Laude, Giselle Angermeyer, Biology. Cum Laude, Alex Artola. Industrial Engineering. Cum Laude, Marisa Augsburger, Biology. Muhammad Basarwan, Industrial Engineering. Honors Program Scholar, Cum Laude, John Beckman, Biology. 
Sarah Bednars, Biology. Presidential Award Recipient, Elena Boteo, Electrical Engineering. Cum Laude, Mario Cancel, Mechanical Engineering. Andrew Carum, Electrical Engineering. Yairet Castro, Forensic Science. Camille Constantin, Mechanical Engineering. Magna Cum Laude, Roxana Uranic Cruz Santori, Industrial Engineering. Honors Program Scholar, Cum Laude, David Culbreth, Computer Engineering. McNair Scholar, Presidential Award Recipient, Summa Cum Laude, Ileana Esther De La Cruz, Physics. Honors Program Scholar, Cum Laude, Alicia Decker, Biology. David Ethan Deloso, Electrical Engineering. Paula Diaz Portela, Engineering Science. Presidential Award Recipient, Cum Laude. Catherine Elbracht, Biology. McNair Scholar, Mari Cruz Espinosa, Biology. Nicole Ferris, Biochemistry. Cum Laude, Catherine Ferrin, Environmental Science. Magna Cum Laude, Amairani Franco Sanchez, Biology. Eric Dali, Engineering Management. Ana Sofia Garcia, Biology. Cum Laude, Angela Marie Garcia, Biology. Magna Cum Laude, Cassandra Judith Garcia, Biology. Honors Program Scholar, Summa Cum Laude, graduating with a 4.0 GPA. Valeria Rodriguez Garcia, Industrial Engineering. Honors Program Scholar, Presidential Award Recipient, Magna Cum Laude, Deandra Gonzalez, Biology. Cum Laude, Maria Gonzalez, Biology. Jesus Hernandez, Software Engineering. Jonathan Herrera, Physics. Cum Laude, Brennan Horton, Electrical Engineering. Honors Program Scholar, Cum Laude, Matthew Nodell Jr., Physics. April Lerma, Biology. Amber Lopez, Environmental Science. Sultan Mabrok, Electrical Engineering. Tatiana Marone, Environmental Science. Carla Martin Patino, Mechanical Engineering. Raquel Martinez, Biology. Kenneth McCashin. Software Engineering 
Jacob Medina, Biochemistry. Richard Mialkowski, Electrical Engineering. Norberto Montanez, Mechanical Engineering. Aaron Nava, Mechanical Engineering. Rumina Navodia, Biology. Anna Wynn, Biology. Ken Wynn, Biology. Honors Program Scholar, Mark Ustar Program, McNair Scholar, Ann Ojo, Biology. Cum Laude, Michael Olson, Mechanical Engineering. Robert Ontiveros, Jr., Biology. David Pagan, Biology. Azucena Palacios, Biology. McNair Scholar. Paula Lorena Perez, Biology. <laughs> Honors Program Scholar, Magna Cum Laude. Ikra Kasi, Biology. Honors Program Scholar, Magna Cum Laude. Amy Ramirez, Forensic Science. Cum Laude. Kurtney Ramirez, Mechanical Engineering. Juan Ramirez, Electrical Engineering. Diego Rascon, Electrical Engineering. Karen Riojas, Biology. Roberto Rodriguez, Software Engineering. Magna Cum Laude, Hope Russell, Biology. Cum Laude, Kristen Salazar, Mechanical Engineering. Vanessa Sarmiento, Forensic Science. Cum Laude, Rachel Singleton, Electrical Engineering. Lisa Tomenendal, Environmental Science. Magna Cum Laude, Karina Vargas Torresia, Biology. Carlos Vasquez, Computer Engineering. Natalia Victor, Industrial Engineering. Evan Villarreal, Electrical Engineering. Cum Laude, Sarah Wagner, Biology. Magna Cum Laude, Ronnie Yassin, Biology. Cedric Udo, Computer Engineering. Zihan Zong, Computer Science. Bachelor of Arts. Magna Cum Laude, Savannah Avila, Biology. Second Lieutenant, Robert Barasa, Biology. Irene Barasa, Chemistry. Metsuri Cantu, Biology. Angelo Casales, Biology. Jose Castro, Jr., Mathematics. <laughs> A 
Alondra Cepeda, Biology. Nikita Chandra, Biology. Honors Program Scholar, Cum Laude. David Colbreth, Mathematics. McNair Scholar, Presidential Award Recipient, Summa Cum Laude. Ileana Esther De La Cruz, Mathematics. Anwar Duran, Computer Science. Roger Flores, Computer Science Application Systems. Yadira Flores, Biology. Mark Ustar Program, McNair Scholar. Lauren Garcia, Biology. Magna Cum Laude, Mildred Nicole Garcia, Combined Science. Jacob Green, Mathematics. Mariah Victoria Guevara, Biology. Roy Hernandez, Mathematics. Jonathan Herrera, Mathematics. Armand Hurd, Biology. Honors Program Scholar, Cum Laude, Matthew Nodell, Jr., Mathematics. Christina Lopez, Environmental Science. Andrea Martinez, Biology. Jacob Medina, Mathematics. Oscar Jason Melgar, Mathematics. Cum Laude, Viviana Mendez, Mathematics. Diego Rascon, Mathematics. Elizabeth Rodriguez, Mathematics. Pablo Ruiz, Computer Science Application System. Cum Laude, Kristen Salazar, Mathematics. Cum Laude, Caitlin Salisbury, Biology. Rachel Lane Todd, Biology. Enrique Torres Hernandez, Mathematics. Summa Cum Laude, Brittany Voorhees, Biology. Michael Wood, Mathematics. Cedric Udo, Mathematics. And Andrea Zamora, Environmental Science. official. Will all of today's graduates please stand.
present to you all graduates receiving their degree on this day, May 12, 2018. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of St. Mary's University, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Congratulations! Congratulations, graduates. To symbolize your transition from student to graduate, at this time you may move your tassel from right to left. As this wonderful ceremony comes to an end, on behalf of the entire St. Mary's University family, I charge each of you to move forward, knowing that you have a community of support behind you, knowing that you carry with you the values and qualities to create a life of giving, knowing that you have these skills and aptitudes to be a force of change in our world, and knowing that society will call upon you to serve and that you will be waiting for that call. Go forward with faith. Go forward with confidence. We are proud to set you on your way. Finally, I invite faculty, staff, family, and friends of our graduates to rise and face the graduates and join me in raising a hand of blessing for them today. We ask you, Heavenly Father, and St. Mary, patroness of our university, to watch over these graduates as they take a new path in life. We humbly submit that they hold the promise of the future and embody our commitment to improving our communities around the world. We ask that you would protect them as you would your son, Jesus Christ, and guide them on their personal, professional, and spiritual journeys. Amen. Thank you for being here, for being a part of this special ceremony to honor our graduates of spring 2018. I now invite newly minted alumni, Mary, Marta, and Maggie Moipe, to return to the podium to lead us in the singing of the bells of St. Mary's. You'll find the words of the alma mater at the back of your program. Everyone, please join us in singing and have safe travel home. 